so hello students welcome back so this is the third lesson after half yearly i'm starting seven and eight we have done before half yearly only so today's lesson is lesson number nine organizing slides so it is uh, on powerpoint only ms powerpoint so uh, some important features of ms powerpoint regarding the slides and it's uh, and the objects contained in it and how to uh, edit delete inserting clip arts rotating resizing objects shadow effects applying editing formatting deleting text boxes so those kinds of editing uh, the objects will be doing in this lesson number nine in organizing slides so let us begin the lesson so for this you take out uh, your book page number 86 the important lines I have underlined so you please read these important lines and mark in your book also so uh, in the earlier chapters of MS PowerPoint we have discussed about the presentation software about creating presentation with the various themes and inserting smart art uh, word art etc so in this uh, lesson we will be mainly focusing on the slide layout and uh, the editing objects different types of objects we will be editing the them in the uh, in this lesson so first of all we come to changing slide layout how we can change uh, change the slide layout so basically uh, in the when you open powerpoint the default slide layout which comes is the title and the slide title slide and uh, all together there are nine different slide layouts available in ms powerpoint so uh, first of all let us see the layouts i will uh, be opening ms powerpoint all programs ms office and then powerpoint so this is actually title slide layout title uh, title slide layout the default layout we can change it the layout also so where we can uh, change the layout we have to go to the home tab home ribbon and there you will see the uh, this layout button under the slides group so you have to click this one and you will get the layouts you will get one two three four five six seven eight nine layouts the names are given below you can see here okay so whichever layout is required for your presentation you can click on that one and uh, that will appear here so we'll get this type of layout and this is the layout I have selected and in this layout you can get, uh, get uh, the uh, different buttons also okay how uh, different types of objects you can insert so we will be discussing them in the later section so again go to the chapter so like this you can change the layout <clears throat> so this one I have already said to change the slide layout what you have to do and these are the nine different types of layouts their names are given in your book in page number 87 so these things you underline the nine uh, names of the slide layout title slide title and content etc to content okay uh, this one I have selected to content okay this one is a two content one this side one this side so two content comparison title only blank etc up to nine are there so you remember the name then how you can edit text boxes so the text boxes can be edited so when you see the slide with the contents you can see there are six contents here this is given here content placeholder so whatever you want to insert you have to click that button so inserting charts for example if you want to insert chart okay or you want to insert a, a table image clip art so you have to click on that particular button so when you are going to insert a chart you have to click on the insert chart which one is the insert this one is the insert chart button so you choose the type of chart after that so let us see in powerpoint so this is here so this is a chart so I'm clicking it over here so you'll get the insert chart dialog box as given in the book this one page picture number 9.3 then what you have to do 
so after clicking the uh, selecting the chart and clicking OK button, you'll get a box like this, Excel worksheet like this. Okay. So I'm clicking the uh, chart. What type of chart? We can select this one, this one, whatever you want. Then you click on OK. So after clicking OK, you'll get the yes this type of worksheet as given in your book you can see on the left side there is the chart and one side uh, and the other side this is the table as you can see here okay in the powerpoint so powerpoint is now divided into two windows this is the powerpoint window and this is the excel worksheet window now we can change the data here whatever change you do here will be reflected here so here 4.3 is given here i'm typing here 10 okay so as soon as you type 10 okay so there will be change in category number one there are three graphs you'll see it will be changed the blue color one will be changed i press enter and see so you can see the blue graph the blue has become taller for category number one you can change the name also uh, this category can be changed into fruits i'm typing so here it becomes fruits so the moment you change it here in the table it gets reflected here in the chart okay that is written here i have underlined uh, the important sentences Okay, so you please underline you can uh, scroll back the video and then you can underline it if you have missed it so these are the picture I've given and here it is given you can edit the data also suppose uh, after you have done this thing now you have closed it now after that you remember then I want to edit it again so what I'll do I will just click on the chart right click on the border area and there is edit data option okay click on this one again the table window appears now you can change it here so it so you can see the graph has become longer okay you have finished it editing is done close it the powerpoint window will remain excel window will close so i hope you have understood this one how to uh, insert a chart and then later on if you want to edit how you can edit it all i have given here marked here tick marked here how to edit the important lines i have drawn here on the uh, underlined here on the page then comes what inserting table how to insert the table i think you have done how to insert tables in the previous uh, lessons of word and powerpoint so very easy so if you want to insert a table here so this is the table icon button insert table just to click this one how many number of rows and columns you require is selected okay then click on ok the table is inserted now you can type over here okay so similarly here you can type your roll number name section in this way in the corresponding rows so this is how you can insert table in your uh, powerpoint slides so today i'll leave up to here in the first video in the second video i will uh, start the next section called inserting smart art inserting word art etc so i don't want to make the video long so i'll cover the lesson in three or four videos Thank you for now.